initial move. I always say, as a defender, which one I was, I always wanted for your help to get there. Edwards makes both. He's got nuts. Vanderbilt on a pitch ahead, and he dunks. Dylan over Towns. Shoots the leading third quarter scorer in the NBA. I'm wondering, you know, you talked about Chris Paul, and sometimes how Chris Paul can uh, decide to turn it on with a, from a scoring perspective as Edwards. It would have been a foul on Vanderbilt because he grabbed the arm. But you have to play until there's a whistle. Mismatch inside. Here's a Bain. Three hits in. Desmond Bain. The one who got the start tonight said, I'm not going to go into crazy detail, but what we got to do is... And solid from the free throw line. You don't want to allow is for him to then step through the double team. Edwards finds an opening and hits a three, and the Grizzlies call for time. Minnesota, a dozen triple. No. Yeah, and the, the big thing is that you, the Grizzlies thought that that would be their advantage be able to come up with stops to manufacture points. Beverly two or three when you shoot free throws all the time. Bain, Clark flashes, finishes. Great find by Bain. Defensively, you want to not, you want to do a good. Bain picks up his fourth. Russell. That's an offensive foul. Well, at least we're going to be consistent. Meanwhile, Desmond Bain. Got another Bain nugget for you. Not to, tell me what it is, Barton. Uh, new playoff career high, 27 for Desmond Bain. And he scored or assisted on eight of the ten Grizzlies points here in the third quarter. Clark drives, elevates, and hits. So I said, Brandon Clark is unstoppable in pick and roll basketball. Out of the rotation last year in Utah. In that playoff series, Grizzlies have scored seven straight. Edwards has an open three and hits. Edwards, four of five from downtown. 18 for Anthony Edwards, averaging 25 a game in the series. It was the exaggerated pump fake that by D'Angelo Russell that sets it all up. Bain, a step back gun around and out. Rebound Vanderbilt. In some way, somehow, Brevin, the Grizzlies got to get something out of Jaron Jackson Jr. They're going to need it, whether it is defensive stops or something they get on the offensive end. You're right. Towns short. Jaron only two points in 16 minutes. Tyus Jones to a trailing Bain. A deep three. Rebound Russell. Midway point, third quarter. Beverly, an open three. Well, you tip your cap to Beverly now. Four of five from beyond. 17 points for Beverly. They respond with six straight. And he continues to get the corner threes in the Wolves offense. 12-point lead. A Tyus triple. Down the well it goes for Tyus Jones. Jones has now his last five three-pointers here in Minneapolis, a native of Apple Valley. Towns lost the handle. Zaire Williams, Bain will take it uncontested. And 29 for Desmond Bain. His career high in a regular season, 34 in Philadelphia. And Minnesota Edwards just threw that out of bounds. Desmond Bain is leaving it off to the last hustle. You see this turnover here, off to the races, finishes with the one-hand slam, and then jumps right back in bounds defensively to try to come up with the steal. Can't get it, but look at the hustle. If you can't be turned on by what you are watching from Desmond Bain as his teammate, I don't know what else is going to take. Well, Damian Lillard tweeted out tonight, the Grizzlies drafted their bleep off. And I think he was referring to Desmond Bain. He got that right. Yes, he did. Minnesota, meanwhile, four turnovers in their last seven possessions. A seven-point game with under five remaining in the third. And a foul on Malik Beasley, who just checked in. 
Beasley and McDaniels now in the lineup, joining Russell Towns and Edwards. Well, try to be overly aggressive with pressure on the ball. And Tyus Jones, I think Tyus has done a great job of being able to neutralize the pressure. Here's he shooting 50% from three. Oh. And a foul on Beasley, and this will be a free throw and possession. This is like the third or fourth hit to the face here at the Grizzlies. They say, watch McDaniels here. Oh, and they're going to review this as a potential flagrant. This is McDaniels' second time with a hit to the face of a Grizzlies player. Rule nerds out there, if, yes. <laughs> if you score a basket and you are flagrantly fouled, you get two to make one. Yes. So because it's, an, because it's an away from the play foul, anybody can shoot. And so it'll be Bain to shoot and then the Grizzlies with possession. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to ask, what if you get a flagrant foul on a dead ball situation? That's a good one. That's, that's one I've, I've not, I have to investigate that. Three to make two? <laughs> we're, going, we're going all, we're going really we're going, old that's school. That's what I said, we're going all the way old school. But that's a really good question. That's not a scenario that I had ever contemplated. Well, remember, we didn't even, the two to make one, we, when that happened, it was like, well, what, what are we doing this one? It's the only time in the rule book there's a two to make one. Shot clock down to five. Bain pulls up a floater, left it short, rebound. Jaron lost it out of bounds. Out of bounds to Minnesota.